Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be creating an art journal page and for the background of this page I'm going to use my gelatos. I'm going to use a page out of my happy notebook, happy planner notebook. I have uh, glued two pages together and given one side of the page a coat of gesso. So I get out my gelatos and I choose some blues and some greens to start with my background. I use an assortment of both colours and I use my finger and that I dip into some water to blend the colours together. The colours I've used are lime, lemon, green tea, pistachio, blueberry, mango, spearmint, cotton candy, metallic, blueberry and white. Part of my focal point is going to be a couple of birds from this Tim Holtz um, Crazy Bird stamp set. I'm going to stamp two of them onto a piece of cardstock that I have given a coat of gesso and I'm going to use my stays on jet black ink to do that because when I colour it I'm going to use some distress inks and I don't want my outline to smudge. Now that I've finished stamping my birds, I'm going to cut them off of this piece of cardstock and I'm going to use the piece that's left, which is still gessoed, to create a coloured background for a tree that I want to make for the birds to sit in. So to colour that, I'm going to use um, colour crush powders in pineapple, wheatgrass and blue heaven. And I'm going to use some coloured blast powders in lemon zing, Olive Grove and Cool Mint. Some of these have a sparkle to them and some are flat. I spray my background liberally with some water and then I sprinkle the powders onto the water and use my brush to move the powders around. I'm not careful about where the powders go and um, I'm not too worried about the overall coverage because I'm going to actually cut a shape out of this so this is not going to be the finished item. I do a mixture of the colours that I said previously to try and get a bit of variation of colours in my tree. Some of them I sprinkle on and some of them I have to dip my brush into and sprinkle from the brush. Once I'm happy with the colouring I set that aside to dry. I'm going to go back to the main base now and add a bit more colour. I wasn't happy with the colour um, in the background so I'm adding some orange and some yellow and I actually use some darker blue as well. I use the same technique to apply the gelato using wiping it on with my wet finger or smoothing it out with my wet finger. I'm using this 13 arts ge geometric sort of uh, shaped stencil to apply some uh, Montmartre modelling paste that dries white uh, to the background. I wanted to lift the background a little bit. So I'm just going to use my palette knife and apply that um, texture paste through the stencil randomly on the background. I think I'm going to apply it in about four or five spots. Now I'll set that aside to dry and while I'm waiting for that to dry I'll start work on my birds. As I said I'm going to use distress inks to colour my birds. The colours I end up using are mustard seed, dusty concord, carved pumpkin, candied apple and picked raspberry. I apply the colour to the birds using a, a finger dabber and um, I blend them into each other. I, apply one area 
then the next area and then come back with the previous colour and blend the two colours together. I do this for both birds. I use some white acrylic paint to paint the whites of the eyes back in and I use some rust coloured paint to paint the beaks. I also use a bit of black for the eyes as well. While I've got the white acrylic paint out I take some water water it down slightly and using my fan brush I splatter some white onto the background just adding a little more white into the picture. Still working on the background I take this uh, clear stamp that looks like a thread and I'm going to stamp that on the background using Encore Gold ink and some archival inks that uh, won't smudge as if they get wet fern green, watering can and cornflower blue. Some of these are very pale and don't really stand out um, but they're there if you're looking. I also do a couple in uh, stays on black very lightly. Using the corresponding die I cut my birds out Time to make the tree now so I use a pencil and draw a tree shape um, in the green powders that we had put on the gessoed background paper and then I use my scissors to cut around that tree or around that line that I'd put on there. When I went to rub the line out that um, I put on there with the pencil I found that it, the rubber took off a lot of the glimmer so that's a little trick to be learnt there. I cut a tree trunk from a piece of um, paper from my scrap stash. To add more interest to my tree I used this Cuddlebug embossing folder and ran that through my Big Shot and then I gave it a spray with Glimmer Mist iridescent gold um, to give it some more sparkle after I'd lost half the sparkle with my eraser. I'm going to use this Matisse um, gel medium in matte to attach my tree and my trunk to the page. I'm careful not to get the matte medium onto the background because um, I have not sealed it at this stage and being gelatos they're water reactive so if I did get them wet they would move so I try not to get any of the matte medium on the background. I'm stamping my birds onto my page where I want the birds to be so that I can get the fine details like the legs and the feathers around the head area. Once I've got the birds stamped in the position I want them I use the gel medium to attach the coloured birds on top. Now that my page is assembled I'm going to use some Boyle's matte spray to coat the page so that when I do my shading it will not smudge. I'm going to use my Faber-Castell big brush markers. They're an Indian ink marker that um, takes a few seconds to dry but once they're dry they're waterproof so you have time to put your line in where you want it then smudge it with your finger and then once it's dry you don't have to worry about it again. I use this same technique on all of the pieces on my page. Birds, trees, everything. I also create a bit of a shadow under the birds themselves and the tree. I use the big brush markers also to add a bit of um, variation to the tree trunk so I use the black and I also use an orange to give it a few highlights. Using my Signo white gel pen I add some highlights here and there to both the trees, the tree and the birds.
To add some detail to the foreground of the page, I'm going to add some grasses to the um, bottom of the layout. I'm going to use some um, Dilusions Small Leaf Stamp, um, Sullivan's Leaf and Stem Stamps, and the inks I'm going to use are Distress Inks Pine Needle, Archival Ink Fern Green, and Stays on Black. I'm just going to stamp these um, small stamps randomly along the bottom, just so that uh, there's something there to sort of ground the whole page. Using an assortment of black permanent ink markers, I give the page a little more definite definition with black. My title says, We Can All Fly, All It Takes Is Faith and Trust. I found this quote on the internet. Well, actually, it wasn't the same as that, but I adjusted it a little bit. And I printed it out on my computer, just on normal copy paper, and trimmed it down to fit onto my page. I printed the first part, we can all fly larger and at the same size as the other part of the saying, and decided to go with the smaller print of the we can fly, we can all fly. Anyway, I'm using my matte gel medium to attach my title to my page. I then use my food ball black pen to outline the quote and um, I extend a little above and beyond the actual quote just so that it doesn't look too boxed in and I do this for all of the pieces of the quote. While I've got my food ball going I also do a scribbly border around the whole page um, it's I scribble without any sort of pattern to this. I also decide that I want a bit more white because the original white splatters that I put on there seem to have faded away to nothing so I get out my white acrylic paint once again, water it down but not quite as um, heavily as I did last time and then use my fan brush to make more splatters over the whole area. I decide I don't want splatters over the birds so I take a wet one and wipe the white off of the birds. And that concludes the video for today. The, um, uh, the matte sealer that I've sprayed on the page, even though it's matte, still has quite a bit of shine to it, as you can see when I show you the page shortly. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching my video today. I've enjoyed putting it together for you. Um, thank you for spending some of your time with me here today. And uh, if you've enjoyed my video, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends. That would be fantastic. So once again, thank you for watching and spending your time here with me today.